Hey, uh, Floyd Ferdinbeam here, and I want to talk to you a little bit about them Chinese mystery seeds uh, everybody's getting in the mail because, well, I got an envelope full of them myself, and uh, I didn't save the envelope. I threw that in the garbage, but I do have a picture of it, uh, and you can see uh, it has some Chinese writing on it right up there at the top, uh, so I Google searched um, the Chinese writing there. And it says, uh, more or less, uh, some settling may occur during shipping, which you see that all the time. Uh, keep out of the reach of children. You see that all the time, too. Uh, and the last little bit right there, you see that? This is how I knew it was a scam, because that says, water not included. That's where they get you. They give you the seeds for free, but then you got to buy expensive Chinese rainwater to make the crazy things grow. So I figured, you know, I'll give the seeds a try with regular old American rainwater and see what happened. Plus, American rainwater is available in my own yard, and, uh, well, I prefer to shop locally. So anyhow, I planted them out by the edge of the field there, uh, and I know everyone's yelling, don't plant them Chinese seeds, Floyd, don't do that. Uh, they might be an invasive species. Well, relax, people, mind your own beeswax. I got it all under control. Uh, I figured... Uh, then plants come up and look dangerous like some sort of like a man-eating Chinese zombie death plant with uh, like great big uh, sharp teeth. Uh, it wasn't anything a half gallon of Roundup wouldn't take care of. Well, uh, wouldn't you know I planted them out there uh, by the edge of the field and then I forgot all about them. Uh, and then one day my dog, he went missing and that's when I got into a panic because I thought, oh man, what if they was dog-eating Chinese zombie death plants with the uh, great big uh, sharp teeth and uh, so I hightailed out to where I planted them seeds and I want to take you out there right now uh, with me show you exactly what I found uh, oh uh, just just so you know uh, the dog he was just fine uh, he had just found a fresh pile of smelly uh, who knows what uh, to roll around in so I'm gonna bring you over here to where I throw them uh, Chinese mystery seeds and uh, show you the surprise that I got Right there is what I seen when I come out. Uh, ain't nothing to be afraid of. Ain't no uh, Chinese zombie mystery death, nothing. Uh, just looks like a uh, run of the mill old American corn. Uh, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick a couple of these ears off of there and uh, take them inside and husk them up and uh, see what's on the inside. So I just bust a couple of them ears off and uh, go from there, I guess. Bust off just like a regular corn. So these ears uh, look just like American corn and I think uh, they're probably going to taste the same too. Oh, hang on. Oh, uh, honey, don't answer that. <laughs> it's Dr. Sean. Uh, I can see who it is because I got the caller IUD here on that phone. Uh, I had some tests done, and he's probably calling with the results, uh, but I do not have time uh, to be getting some serious disease, so I figure if I don't answer the phone, then he can't give me no bad news. I know, smart, right? Uh, like my grandma always said, I may have been born at night, but it could have also been during an eclipse. Uh, anyhow, so let's husk some of this uh, Chinese corn, and I'll do like a food review on it, you know, like a... Uh, I'll say something like, uh, oh, wow, five stars, a delight for the palate. Or if it ain't no good, I'll say, like, horrible, zero stars, tastes like deep-fried cigarette butts. Uh, so, anyhow, here we go. So, I'm going to, well, before I hush this, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, if I start screaming like a little girl, it's because there's uh, earwigs inside of this thing. And uh, them are like little bugs with little pinchers on the back, and I do not like them critters. Uh, they're called earwigs because if they get in your ear then they commence to lay an eggs right in your brain. Which is a bit of an old wives tale. Uh, they don't lay eggs in like, you know, your whole brain around everywhere. Uh, they uh, specifically target the third interstitial nucleus of the anterior hypothalamus. Now, I didn't mind the earwigs when I was a kid. In fact, uh, we used to fight over them. Uh, on a hot summer day of husking corn, uh, they was a welcome and tasty treat. Uh, they taste kind of salty like a tomato hornworm, uh, but kind of sweet like a Colorado potato beetle. Anyhow, uh, let's see what we have here. I'm going to go commence the husking away here. Oh, oh my goodness, what in the... 
What in the name of Farmer Randy is that? Uh, that don't look like no uh, American corn at all. And it uh, it smells like cabbage. Oh my goodness, what it, look how it is. Can you see that? Oh my. That's an egg roll. Look at that. That's an egg roll inside of that Chinese corn. No wonder it smells like cabbage. What else we got here? Let me try another one. Oh, look at there, look at there, look at there. Another egg roll. Will you look at that? Oh my goodness. Wow. No wonder that the Chinese uh, corn is so smelling like cabbage. Hey, uh, honey, I'm cooking tonight. Uh, and we're having Chinese. Uh, well, I have uh, rambled on long enough, uh, and I'm getting hungry, uh, so have a blessed day, and remember, uh, never judge a book by its cover.